I have come to believe that there are those among you who have come to celebrate sin. Rock groups that treat Satan as an inspiration. I would single-handedly send them straight to hell. Hello guys, and today we are talking about metal exploitation movie Death to Metal. This is a movie that was written by Tim Connery and Kevin Cop and directed by Tim Connery. And as I said, it's a metal exploitation movie, guys. Yes, it is a thing. I saw the trailer of this on Geek Legion of Doom channel and I simply had to see it. So thankfully Leo has asked me to watch and review this one for you guys and I did so last night. So this movie tells the story of a rather, we'll use the word, deranged priest who is a bit extreme, shall we say, with his views. He's a bit fire and brimstone. He's got himself into trouble with um, his parish um, and he has been told to tone things down a little bit. One of the things that grinds this priest's gears, of course, you can imagine, is the ungodliness of rock and metal music, everything that brings with it, the how loud it is, the lyrics, the people, the fans, the, the people in the bands. And he encounters a bit of an accident and um, I'll just use the word mutates. Um, I don't want to tell you any more about what happens to him exactly, but he sets out to rid the world of um, metal, metal music, anybody that gets in his way that particularly annoys him. And what we have is a marvellous mix of glorious 80s style horror, um, practical effects, gore, and um, metal music and real metal music we have in this one. Something I loved about this movie is it's very clear watching it that the people that we're watching are actual musicians. Now this is a pet peeve of mine. I love when I watch bands, when I watch people play instruments to see that they're actually really playing them and it's very clear in this that they are. Um, on upon reading a little bit after, I did read that real bands were used in this movie. People have commented on, on perhaps poor acting in places. Personally, I didn't really feel that was the case. I enjoyed this. It does need to be taken as fun. If you hark back to the 80s and you remember the sort of cheesy gore horror um, with the practical effects that we all half laughed and half oh at, that's exactly what you have here. I feel the acting was absolutely fine. Um, better in some places than others, but not bad that you would actually comment on it. Um, I love the music in it. I do, I am a fan of rock music, a little bit of metal, maybe some's a little bit too heavy for me, but um, what I did here, here is a perfect example of what you would hear in rock clubs and metal clubs. Um, the scene that they got in that rock and metal club that is used in this actual movie is perfect. The whole mood when you go in, the type of people, the people seemed sort of very authentic. The cast seemed to be from that sort of like appreciating that genre of music. There were a lot of little subtle digs at metal and metal fans, which I liked the fact that well, we can laugh at ourselves. Some of the names of the bands were genius. Um, one of the bands we follow in this is called Withered Christ. It's just, it gets worse. And that is what metal bands do. The names they pick just are just like that. Um, we have a dig at the fact you can never read the name of a band on a metal t-shirt because it's done in this spidery type writing that you're really struggling to see what it says. This movie pokes fun at itself. Um, the cast are genuine, authentic. The effects I felt were excellent. Um, it was funny. It was in places like, oh, there were some really gory bits in here. All in all, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it won't appeal to everyone. It won't appeal probably to people that can't laugh at their horror but can't appreciate a bit of throwback to that. It's got a real 80s mood to it, although it's obviously not set then. It has that very similar cheesy, gory, sort of funny style to it. And I, for one, really appreciated it. This movie actually did win Best Feature Film at Spooky Empire Film Fest. So obviously I'm not on my own in enjoying this. I'm really liking it. It does score pretty decently on IMDb. So I, for one, would recommend this if you can laugh at your movies, if you don't take them too seriously, if you appreciate old style practical effects, and if you maybe like a little bit of rock or metal thrown in on the side. I only have one small negative about the movie. Um, I don't know if this is the version, the screener that I actually watched, but it is quite difficult in places to differentiate when we have the very loud soundtrack, whether it be metal music or the effect music or the background, the incidental music, sometimes the actual dialogue is quite difficult to hear. 
um, that mix between the dialogue and the music itself is not quite right. We do need to up um, the actual dialogue quite a bit and dampen down that actual music in order to be able to actually hear. Now, I don't know if in places it was a conscious thing to actually get across the difficulty of hearing someone in a loud club environment, but there were other places where I did struggle to actually hear what was being said. So I will say that is something that I would say as a negative. Um, but the story overall, the acting, especially the special effects, the humour, um, how accurate they got that whole subculture of people, which a lot of my friends, myself, fit into. Um, yeah, it's a big thumbs up from me. So I would give Death to Metal um, a 7 out of 10. Have you seen it? Do you want to see it? Let us know below in the comments what you think, if this is something you feel you would enjoy, and we look forward to speaking to you next time. Over and out.